everyone, Eva here. So happy to be here with you today. I am Eva. I am a five-year raw foodie. Prior to that, I was a, a two-year high raw foodie. And I just recently, I have I put out a video about how I had implemented a few things into my diet, a few changes that I had made because I, I felt like I was not getting enough protein, um, quality uh, protein actually. I felt like I not, was not feeling satiated. I had been working out. I'm going to make a progress video very, very soon. Ooh, I'm so nervous because uh, I have seen some changes in my body and I am 50 and I was having a really hard time maintaining muscle and I was ha having a hard time feeling like uh, my body wasn't really just falling apart. <laughs> Even though I feel in very good shape for my age, I started to feel like my muscles were like I really needed to get back into the gym and weight train hard and so I started doing that and what I noticed was that my raw vegan diet that had served me very very well for five years it wasn't enough and I just felt like this gaping hole like something was missing so I started experimenting with a few different things and I added some hummus and I made a video about it how listen I'm just playing with this but maybe Maybe this is the ticket, maybe add some beans or something like that. And OK Raw, John Kohler, commented on one of my videos graciously enough and made some suggestions, some of which I had already been implementing. But like once he wrote it, I'm like, you know what? He's absolutely right. Rather than look for a solution outside of the raw, uh, outside of the raw food, why don't I implement these changes before I look outside in order to, you know, get more protein and... Uh, the balance in the raw food world between the too much sugar and too much fat is a delicate one. And so I was trying to fill that void with a little bit of cooked beans because I felt like I did not want to up my, my, my fruit and I did not want to up my fat. And so the calories have to come from somewhere and I needed more calories. I was in need of just I had I, I was burning calories like crazy and I still am and so I thought well let me just try this and see how it goes I talked about this in some of my other videos it didn't work out so well I'm back to where I was but I did take Joan Kohler's advice uh, back to where I was in terms of I'm no no longer eating the beans I'm no longer eating the hummus Will I again in the future? I don't know. I'm just taking it day by day. I'm doing my best at every turn. I'm learning. I'm expanding. I'm not. I'm not into labels. I'm not into dogma. I'm into doing whatever works for me. I don't care if you want to label me and call me something. Just call me someone who enjoys raw food. And I believe that should be the basis for everyone's diet. To what degree is up to you. Right now, I'm 100%. Is that always going to stay like that? I don't know. I am open to trying something. I know the bulk, of the, the bulk of my diet is always going to be raw food though. And so I tried that for a few weeks. It didn't work out for many, thing, for, for many reasons and I spoke about that. One of the reasons I did not like it was it, it brought me down a notch as far as my energy level. I felt a little bit more lethargic if you will after so many years enjoying a very high vibing sort of diet just a little bit of hummus or a little bit of um, lentils or a little bit of azuki beans uh, it made me feel not as um, I don't want to say alive but not as perky not as not as vibrant not as alive yeah so I yeah and, and I also other things my digestion and just a few things but Nevertheless, I stop, I stop now and I'll be very transparent and honest if I when I start eating anything else I'm gonna share that with you. I don't believe in being a bullshitter <laughs> or someone who's gonna sit here Telling you all how it is and then and and then go away and not do what I'm preaching So I am not like that. I'm not about that. I'm going to be honest and real and sharing real time and so um, so right now, this is, the, this, is the, this is the advice that John Kohler gave me on the comments when he wrote to me. He said, look, before you do that, this is what I would do. And so one of the things he recommended was that I try E3 Life, which I had taken for many years. Um, probably I stopped about two years ago. Why? It gets really expensive. Two, you start doubting, do I really need this? And three, I couldn't, when I went to order the last time, they had stopped with the little packets. E3 Live is, 
it's a very aquamula aquila bula. it's a really long name that i can't even say but basically it's it's blue green algae it's, it's the it's the best and purest form it does it comes frozen uh, flash frozen and so you eat it raw it's not in a powder it's it, you actually it's like a it's green stuff they send you a green jar of goo and so I, I they sell it in a jar or they also sell it in little individual serving packets and I much prefer the packets because the jar you have to defrost and you have to leave it in the fridge you have a certain number of days to consume it and sometimes you forget about it and it's just a bit pain in the butt so I wanted to order the little packets and they had been out and so I stopped ordering it the last time I tried was probably two years ago actually that as far as I'm aware that they haven't had the little packets and so I stopped with the E3 Live, but the E3 Live is really the purest and highest form of protein you can find. It has all nine essential amino acids, a ton of other minerals, a ton of, it's just, it's an unbelievable supplement. So I am back, to, I, I will be back to E3 Live as soon as they have the packets, but yes, I took his advice and I went on the website again to see this still out, but I will be taking it as long as they have the little packets again. The other thing that he recommended is that I add my greens and I, eat what i think is a lot of greens but one thing that really made me think is that yeah i eat a lot of greens in my salad in my smoothies and in my juices but really i could do a lot better with the juices like i could bring those juices to the next level and so i have i have been juicing greens like you would not believe i mean and this i think is giving me my skin is glowing lately. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I am, I am blown away by the clarity that comes with a lot of greens. I don't know if that makes any sense to any of you, but anyway, I am juicing a lot of greens. So lately what I've been found my, uh, myself doing is I might juice in addition to my basis of celery, cucumbers, kale, I'm just adding any and every green. The other, for instance, this morning I juiced cilantro, I juiced um, romaine lettuce, I used bib lettuce, I juiced moringa, I juiced cilantro, and I juiced parsley, a little bit of parsley. And so this is really going to give me that little extra edge in my protein needs and fulfillment because I had not been doing that. I have been doing one green per juice and I always had the green juices, but my green juices were were sort of like green, light green. And now my juices are dark green. I mean, my husband drank it this morning and he was like, please don't make this again. This is disgusting because he's not a raw foodie. He's, to me, I'm like, it tastes delicious. What are you talking about? It's like, no, please do not, <laughs> do not give us this again. And so I'm gonna have to make my own batch and make their, their own batch. They have been very dark in color. They almost look like E3 Live. They are, they're not, but they're very, very dark green. So I did that and thank you for to him because, to John Kohler, because that is great advice. I am juicing like there's no tomorrow and I am doing dark dark greens and I am having a 32 ounce jar which before most of the time yeah I'm a little under 32 now I'm making sure that it's 32 ounce and then a little bit more so then usually I have another eight ounce sort of little glass and so that's been really really helpful and it's given me I noticed that I'm less hungry throughout the day when I have my rich, mineral rich, dark green juice in the morning. And I don't put fruit in it. I, at the most I do is half a green apple or some lemon and ginger. I don't sweeten it. And so I feel like it really gives you a lot of energy and I, be, probably because the, your protein levels are topped off. Now, what I've noticed with people when I have consultations with people when they say, I'm always hungry, I always say up your protein a little bit because if you're a raw vegan, and I know there's a lot of controversy with the, with, with the protein thing and a lot of vegans and raw vegans swear you don't need that much. I know all of that, believe me. <clears throat> I understand all of that's behind that, but I also believe that a lot of us and a lot of raw vegans don't get enough protein because everybody's needs are a little bit different. My needs are a little bit, I need more protein, a little bit more fat, and I need, I thrive better on less fruit. When I say less fruit, I don't mean to say I don't eat fruit. I eat plenty of fruit. I just don't have the huge amount of fruits that some raw food people have in favor of a little bit more fat and now a little bit more greens. So 
the juice has been instrumental and I feel a big difference in my stamina, my hunger levels, my energy. I just, it, and it's not fake energy either because you could get a lot of fake energy, what I call fake energy. If you have a smoothie with 10 dates in it, you're going to be bouncing off the walls because I know because I've done it. Uh, but if you want real sustainable energy, not the energy that get when you're jacked up on sugar, try the greens. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm noticing big, big changes. Another thing that I have implemented in my routine and that I had not been consistent with because I do it sometimes, I maybe do it, I used to do it maybe once a week, twice a week, is I'm having protein powder. And I know a lot of you are going to say, oh my gosh, she's such a phony raw vegan. She's having protein powder. Okay. And I understand protein powder is a fracture food and it's a processed food, but it's working out for me and it's doing me and I think it's it's doing me uh, wonderful actually I am taking Lucarona's protein powder and I'm my next one when that one is up is I'm gonna try lentein which is something that okay raw recommended John Cole recommended I try lentein and I had looked into it into lentein before lentein is not made from lentils it is made from a is from duckweed which is a plant and so it's a very extraordinarily high source of protein with only one ingredient. So I will try that after I run out of the Lucoronas. And uh, I have the nine essential amino acids and I have the protein powder. And I'm gonna link everything below so that you don't have to like remember. I'm gonna link everything. So I have, <clears throat> I'm, I right now have the Lucarona, um, Lucarona is called Pura Dime and I think it's very clean, it's very good and I have been doing that every time I have a smoothie, I've been putting a little bit, instead of doing the two tablespoonfuls or whatever they tell you, I just put one and that's enough. And I also feel that especially after a workout, if I have one of those smoothies, I feel right away, I just, I feel like I'm not starving anymore. Like when I come home from the gym sometimes, I'm like, I'm really hungry and I have this with a little protein powder and it just, I, I'm not starving and, I, and I'm satiated and I'm good. And then maybe later I might have another smoothie because I am eating more calories, which is not ideal either. So I am trying to find a balance between fulfilling my caloric needs and not overeating. And again, the protein powder has allowed me uh, not having to overeat by fulfilling the, the protein requirements. I'm not overeating. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining myself very well, but anyway, the protein powder has been wonderful and the lentine, which was recommended, like I said, by OK Row, will be my next purchase and I will check it out and see how it is. I also understand there's pea protein, there's all kinds of different uh, protein powders that I have not tried yet. I have also tried um, Garden of Life, I believe it's called, the vanilla, uh, vanilla protein powder is actually uh, very good. It tastes very good. Um, and I use it sometimes and I still have some in the, in the cabinet. I don't like it as much. It's got a lot of other ingredients that I'm like, mm, I don't know. But once in a while I have it and it actually tastes delicious and it doesn't upset my stomach. It doesn't give me gas. It doesn't make me uh, burp up or anything. So that's another change that I've implemented that I'm very happy with. And the last thing that I have implemented that I had stopped doing for a while because I life got really busy. And one thing I don't ever give up on, no matter how busy it gets, is my raw food. I eat raw food no matter what. I don't care if I'm, uh, there's only McDonald's around me or I'm on a road trip or I'm in a foreign country or I'm in an RV like I was for a year. Raw food is a constant in my life that's not about to change, but microgreens and sprouts come and go into my my reality and that's the truth i am fairly consistent but i had sort of taken a little a little break if you will so i was sprouting some lentils and i was sprouting a little mung beans here and there um actually no i was doing some um sorry my face itches I was doing um, so the easy the the easy microgreens, which are like the broccoli or whatever, and you only just have to sprinkle. I was doing that here and there, but I had been really into it during the pandemic, and I had been really into it even in the RV when we traveled. I sprouted, I did microgreens, but the last six months I was just so uninspired. I kind of fell out of love with it. I don't know why. But now, I like as we speak, I have some uh, sunflower seeds soaking. So I am going to 
get into it again and I have been and so what I've discovered is that if I'm not consistent with the microgreens which I have not been I just I've been buying at them at the farmers market because adding the microgreens to a wrap or to a salad or to the sun tuna pate that I sometimes make and I wrap it those microgreens really make me feel so satiated like I know they're chock full of protein and I just like I said I just got lazy so the microgreens are making a comeback and so um is the occasional and just occasional because I can't I don't like it I never get used to it but when I go to the juice bar sometimes I've been ordering a wheatgrass which is like <clears throat> I don't like it but I can tell an immediate amount of uh, pro, uh, energy coming from it and so I'm, I'm a great believer in the dark uh, condensed greens now because I've experienced it and so live and learn here I am five years in and I'm still learning and I'm still developing and this is just so exciting I want to share it with you I'm I'm just blown away by the lifestyle and I hope I, I am transmitting that to you I hope that you can that you're just kind of like getting a little whiff of what raw food can do for you um, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's just, it'll change your life. It, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just in awe of it and I'm just excited to, to continue to learn and, 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 and again, I don't want to be cornered into a label or oh, you're a hundred percent. You're, I'm not into that. I'm into doing what works for me. And if you learn something from what I'm sharing, great. And if you don't, then just unsubscribe or don't, you know, don't watch my videos. I get some hate mail. I'm like, there's so many other channels you could be watching. Why are you torturing yourself with me? If you don't like me, just let me go. So take what you need and leave the rest, as they say. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, this, is, this has been wonderful for me. So I'm very grateful for all of your input too, the comments, obviously the likes, the subscribes. <clears throat> it's all very um it, it is beautiful so thank you so much i hope you have a beautiful beautiful day and i cannot wait to see you in my next video have a good one Bye. -bye.